Now, so for our question number one, okay, it told us that a student in investigating how partly covering the surface of the water in a beaker affect the rate at which the water cools. Okay, then you are given the apparatus as shown over here. Okay, now in paper six, most of the time we just need to follow the instructions that they have told us to me. So part A, record the room temperature and then it is shown in the figure one point. From what we can see from here, it is showing at 21 degrees Celsius mark. So you just follow the instructions and tell them um, the answer. Okay, then now we move on to part B. So the student pours a 100 cm cube of hot water into a beaker. She places lid A on the beaker. This leave half of the water surface uncovered as shown. Then she records the temperature of the water in the beaker and immediately starts the stop clock. Then she measures and records the temperature for the water every 30 seconds. Her reading are shown in table 1.1. Then she repeat using experimental B. Complete the heading and the time column in table 1.1. Every time that they give you guys like a table like this, right? Be careful on whether they're gonna give you the units or not. So if let's say that they didn't give you the units, you will need to add it in on your own. So we know that the time is in seconds. Our theta is the temperature degree Celsius. So you fill in all for them. Okay. And when we wanted to complete the time columns over here, right? You need to get information from the statement as well. They said they record for every 30 seconds. And therefore, 0 second first, the next one will be the 30 second mark, 60, 90, 120, 150, and 150. Okay, so you see I'm just like following the um, instructions given to me. <laughs> now, then for part C, describe the precaution that should be taken to ensure that the temperature reading are as accurate as possible in the experiment. All right, now, when we are taking temperature reading track and we want it to be very accurate, you guys have a few things that you can talk about. Okay, now the first one is actually referring to your parallax error. Okay, so um, whenever we are reading the thermometer, like, so let's say over here, this is the thermometer, then we have like a lot of scales over here. Like, maybe 20 degrees here, then 24 degrees Celsius, 28 degrees Celsius, 32 and so on. Now, when we are reading any temperature scale, let's say the mercury reaches until 28. We cannot read the reading from the top and look back down. So what this would do is it will create what we call as a parallax error. You are not able to get the accurate measurement from that. And therefore, the correct method of doing so is actually putting your eye level perpendicular to the skin. Okay, so this will help us get an accurate reading for the temperature. So in your answer here, probably you can write something that place the eye level okay, perpendicular to the um, scale of thermometer. So this one is to um, get rid of your parallax error. Then now we can move on to part B as well. So write a conclusion to this experiment. Mm, can I say level of sight must be perpendicular? Um, you can say level of sight must be perpendicular, but you need to mention to them perpendicular to what? Okay, because it's like perpendicular to something else that cannot work. So you need to say maybe perpendicular to the thermometer, like that can work. 